Hello Tikis. In the previous tutorial, we have learned how to work with environments by creating SIT environment as well as switching between the environments from default to SIT environment. Now, in this tutorial, we will learn how to import and export the desktop flows from one environment to another environment. All right. First of all, we will learn why do we need to export and import the desktop flows or the cloud flows. A developer build the Power Automate cloud flow or Power Automate desktop flow in one of the environment and then export and import it to another destination environment to automate it. Packaging and deployment are the important steps to move or copy a flow from development environment to test or production environment. Export and import facility in Power Automate will provide the way to deploy our Power Automate cloud flows or desktop flows from one environment to another environment. Whenever you are exporting a desktop flow, the dependent resources for your flow will also get exported into the package. All right. Now, if you see on my screen, I am having few of the desktop flows which I have created. Right now we are in the default environment. If you see on my screen, I'm going to select one of the desktop flow and there if I'm going to select more actions, there we don't have the option to export or import the desktop flows which we are required from one environment to another environment, right? In that case, how can we go ahead and do that? To import and export the desktop flows, first we need to switch to flow.microsoft.com. I have given the URL as flow.microsoft.com. Right now, I am in the development environment or default environment right now. Now, if you go for my flows, there you can see I am having cloud flows, another one desktop flows. These are the desktop flows which we have created by using Power Automate desktop software. All right now if i want to import or export there's no direct option over here also in that case how can we go ahead and do that now to export all these desktop flows there we need to create a solution over here by using power automate cloud flows there you can see over here on the left hand side you will find solutions let's click on that from here you are going to create a package to export or to import from one environment to another environment. Right now, I want to export the desktop flows which I am having. I need to deploy that in another environment that is SIT environment. All right. For that, I am going to create a new solution by clicking on new solution over here. And then I'm going to give the name as deployment package. And you can see the name also. I'm going to get it as deployment package. And then over here, the publisher, I'm going to select it. If you see, I'm having two publishers right now. One is CDS, another one is the default publisher for the organization. I'm going to select the default publisher. And there you can see the first version, I'm going to get it as 1.0.0. All right. Now, I'm just going to create a solution right now by clicking on create. Now, if you see over here, I got the display name as deployment underscore package and the name also it's got it as deployment package and you can see when it has been created today on november 1st 2021 and the version you can see over here as 1.0.0.0 and it is managed externally as of now it's not done anything the solution check hasn't been run as of now now i'm just created the package over here by using new solution I need to add the flows or the desktop flows by using this solution. Now, how can I go ahead and add my desktop flows or the cloud flows over here? Now, let me click on three dots over here and then I'm going to click on edit. Now, if you see over here, it has been redirected to the objects and the history. Now, if you click on overview over here, you will find the details about the solution or the package. There you can see I'm having display name, package type and the description and the created date and the patch you can see over here and the solution checker as of now it's not run and if you see the data search enable to improve the search results and you can see in this environment 
what are the use details that you got all the details related about the solution now i want to add the desktop flows how can i go ahead and do that by clicking on objects there you can see i can add the objects such as apps chart bots cloud flows and tables also now i want to add the desktop flow right so if i want to add the existing desktop flows right now there i'm going to select the option add existing what is the existing there you can see i'm having automation the desktop flows which i'm going to add it all right let me click on that now if you see what are the desktop flows i have created by using power automate desktop there all the flows have been available over here now i'm going to take two desktop flows over here one is linkedin connection 300 another one i'm going to use test these are the two desktop flows which i need to export from the default environment or from the dev environment to sit environment right so that what i'm going to do i'm going to add these two desktop flows to my solution and then i'm going back to the solution once again so as of now for the deployment package i have added two desktop flows by editing the solution and then right now i need to export this package so the package will have all the connectivities all the resources which are required to export from one environment to another environment all right now i'm going to select the solution over here and then i'm going to click on export over here if you see the option i'm having the option to export let's click on the export there on the right hand side you will see before you export you will see publish all the changes check for all issues i don't want to do all these things right now i'm just going to click on next and then if you see the current version is 1.0.0 at the time of creation of the solution now i'm going to export this with the new version that is 1.0.0.1 and if you see the export options i'm having two things one is managed another one is unmanaged the managed one is the solution to a test or production environment whereas unmanaged the solution is moving to another development environment or the source control so right now i want to publish that or i need to deploy that in another environment so that i'm going to select it as managed export all right now let's click on export now if you see over here solution deployment package has exported successfully and it will download soon this is the type of message you will get it at the time of exporting the solution once the export has been done successfully there you will find one of the package will be downloading successfully there you can see i am having deployment package with zip file has been downloaded successfully now let me open the downloaded file let me click on show in folder there you can see i'm having the package with the deployment underscore package underscore this is the version one underscore zero underscore zero which is the managed version right now let me extract the files which we are having in the package by clicking on extract now if you see inside the deployment package i'm having the workflows over here which i have selected now i have selected two desktop flows one is linkedin another one is test desktop flows with their names right you can see these two desktop flows in the workflows and after that the respective source files also have been downloaded for the solution this is how we are going to export the desktop flows from one environment to another environment all right now i want to show you how to import the files or how can we get the files into the particular environment by using the option called import all right now let me switch to the environment that is the sit environment i'm going to select sit environment now if you go for my flows over here there you can see i don't have any cloud flows as well as the desktop flows right now we have exported the package right we have done the exported few of the desktop files and then i want to import over here into the production environment or into the test environment how can i go ahead and do that again we are going to select the same tab over here that is solutions tab click on that and then there you will find i'm having the option called import let's click on that 
to import our desktop flows. On the right hand side, you will find import a solution, right? I'm going to select a file, click on browse. Now I'm going to select the zip file, which I have created, right? You can see at the time of export, I have given deployment underscore package underscore one underscore. This is the version 1.0.0.1 with the managed export. I'm going to select that zip file and then I'm going to click on open. After selecting this file, I'm going to click on next and then it will give the details about the environment. There you can see I'm having SIT environment and the details I'm having the package with the name of deployment underscore package and the type is managed and the publisher is the default publisher. We have selected the version that is 1.0.0.1 .1. and the patch no. And then I'm going to import the files into my SIT environment, right? or we are going to deploy the files into my SIT environment by clicking on import. Now, if you see currently importing solution that is deployment underscore package, it will take a little bit time to import the files from the package. Now solution deployment underscore package has imported successfully. Now, once again, now we will see the desktop flows has deployed or imported into the particular SIT environment. How can I we go ahead and do that? By clicking on my flows and then we are going for the desktop flows over here. Now, if you see under the desktop flows, we are having the two desktop flows that is LinkedIn connections 300, another one is the test. These are the two desktop flows which we have exported and imported by using the option import and export desktop flows. All right. Now to make you understand, let me keep the both the things side by side. Now, if you see, this is my default environment where I'm having four desktop flows out of that. I have exported two desktop flows that is LinkedIn, another one test. These two desktop flows I have exported by using flow.microsoft.com by using the solution tab where we have used the export option and to import that files into the particular environment. We have used the option import and there you can see on my flows.microsoft.com inside my environment SIT, I got these two files which are imported successfully. All right. I hope you understand how to export and import the desktop files as part of this tutorial. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.